So we didn't do a pitch for this, uh, just wanted to talk. So basically, we invest in software, digital media, e-commerce, and mobile. Uh, we have three funds under management, and we focus 80% on Europe, so UK, Germany, Scandinavia, and then 20% on Silicon Valley. Um, four investments we've made in Germany. So uh, Vinland DE, we were the seed investors. Uh, we seeded the company in August 2010. That company is probably the fastest growing company we've ever invested in. Uh, one of the German, probably leading German companies in e-commerce right now, apart from Zalando, et cetera. We're in Mr. Specs, uh, just book, as you heard from Stefan, and also Scaroso. And I was wearing the Scaroso shoes yesterday, but unfortunately, I had to give them a break today. Uh, also, on the software side, uh, which so we're not just e-commerce investors, we like software as well. So Steve, uh, one of the early investors in Indeca, which we sold to Oracle uh, about 12 months ago for $1.1 billion. Uh, Steve actually seeded the company. Um, and then Shazam. How many of you guys use Shazam? So Shazam now has 300 million users. When we invested in the company, it had about 10,000 users, and it was actually a phone app where you had to dial in. And one of the things we did there, so almost every VC in Europe turned it down, uh, but we actually came in and actually helped build the company. And actually, some of the major things we did in the company was uh, introduce them to the first US employee, uh, Katie, who actually closed uh, two strategic deals as well as got them into Apple, and Apple actually changed the company. So this is one of the things we do, uh, is we really help the companies to internationalize. So if you look at Shazam, we took them into the US. If you look at Vinland, we're now taking them into Poland and also Italy. Uh, Mr. Specs, we're taking him somewhere, which you'll find out about soon. Uh, and then Indeca, bringing him into the US, and Lagan and Datanomic, taking them from Europe into the US. We've also done about eight exits in the last uh, 36 months, uh, returning about almost 100% of capital. So Steve. Yeah. And just to jump in briefly, uh, if you take capital from Deanne, you know, obviously you get uh, direct access to two partners who have been in the industry for over 20 years apiece, and you, unlike other firms, will always have direct access to the senior guys on the team. What people generally say about us as a firm, whether it's in the US or whether it's in Europe, in the due diligence process, they'll often say, God, you're asking really intelligent questions. You're going much deeper than many of the other VCs we talk to. And when we invest in the companies, they say, God, you're pushing us to really try to achieve more and to do more. I mean, listen, why are you all in the room today? It's because you want capital. If you all had 100 million euros right now, would you be talking to investors? Well, in Silicon Valley, people with 100 million euros do actually talk to VCs because they want some assistance, they want some guidance, they want someone to push them, someone to kick them a little bit. I mean, let's be honest, investors, there are four categories of investors. They're the investors who are going to kiss your ass, the investors who are going to kick you in the ass, the investors who are a pain in your ass, and then the investors who are going to make you bend over and, well, you know. But <laughs> the first category, you really don't want. You don't want someone to kiss your ass because you want someone to actually make your business better. The third category, you don't really want someone who all they're going to do is constantly hammer you, what's the latest financial number, you know, tell me what happened yesterday, calling you all the time. And the fourth category, you want someone who's going to really make sure you don't get any economic value, that you're not actually creating wealth for yourself. What you want is the second category, you want someone who's going to push you, so it's going to drive you forward. That's the type of style that DN has. We work with the entrepreneurs to make them achieve more than they could on their own. That's what's different about us as a firm. Absolutely. So last point, uh, love Germany. Uh, our third fund, 76% of it is already invested in Germany. Uh, we think the Berlin ecosystem is probably one of the most interesting ecosystems in Europe, for sure. And we're from, we, we're, we have an office in London, and actually we've done more deals in Germany in the last six months than we have anywhere else in the world. And we're actually going to open an office here. So we're looking for someone to start our German office, if you know anyone. Get in touch.